So hello and welcome to this session on the basics of brass playing. Today I'm going to introduce a concept, a practice concept, which I know a lot of players do use, and it's using drones. And drones are, as the word desc means, describes, are just sounds which are constant and level. And so what we're going to do is start and play some of the exercises that we've used all the way through to date and Craig's going to join me on this we're just going to play long sounds against this and listen against the drone and play at the same time so <laughs> now I'm going to talk and you're going to play so just play the drone the sound and what I want you to do is listen to it and match, and match as best you can the sound you hear. And again, and do it again, and play it, and listen to it. And then play with that, and listen to it. Good. Now, in the last session I was talking about major, so what I want you to do is play the third note of the scale, so you go and listen to it against this. So what I would like you to do now is using the drone behind you is play the scale that we learned in the last session. Now if you listen to that drone carefully you'll hear all the sounds that are in the scale as part of the single note. It's hard to explain in words but what I want you to do, as you play through every note, is to hear the interaction between the two notes. So the second note in the scale, so when you get it really in tune, The scale notes, but listen very carefully against the drone as you play against the drone. So the sound you create is matching the pitch of the sound you hear. And sit on the note, feel, feel, put some air through it now. Really, the, the idea that we're trying to get here is matching the pitch so it's perfect with the drum, but also listening to each sound so that you hear it in terms of a reference, because this is a major tonality we're talking about. So it's hearing it in terms of a major scale. In a second, we're going to change into a minor scale, and we'll hear the difference again. So would you play the first three notes that you just did? Ba -da -da. Then fourth, and then second. Now, when we really concentrate on the sound this time, do you want to make it a bright trombone sound or a kind of round sound? Quite a bright sound. Well, so to make it bright, you need to push against it so your lips vibrate. Yeah. In a good vibrant way, so make it bright and push your lips against it. Bam! Second position if you're going to play that note. But also listen to that against, get that reference. Bam! 
Same sound in first. Now let's play the. Good. The concept of using the drone is something which is very difficult for me to explain. But it's something that you need if you practice with it and use it you'll begin to understand better how the degrees of the scale work against each other so that you have a tonality what i call a, a root center that you can move constantly back to so we play that note now if i want to play the fourth note bam, i know where it is i know the fourth note now here in relation to the drum so it's not just about pitching, it's about getting the concept of the sound that you want to create and match it and getting the tonalities. It's all very esoteric in many ways, but trying to get all the, uh, the sound you create that is in your head out of the instrument with a pitch and understanding that the pitch that you create has a relationship to a tonal centre, generally speaking, in the music that we play with these instruments. So any time you play a tune, you've got a tonal centre. In this case, I put a drone in F, and that gives us that tonal centre. And the third note of the scale defines the tonality of the scale. So in this case, it's a major scale. So Craig's going to play that again. Bam, bam, but... This time he's going to really concentrate not just on the pitch of the notes but also on the sound that comes through the instrument because creating the sound is the most important thing with a brass instrument. I'm going to need a rest there. Take, start again. Bam. Imagine you're sitting on this cushion you have there. Bam. And that's what the drone's giving you. Bam. Ah. You see, I use the word very specifically, creating, creating the sound. This is what you're doing, you're creating the sound. And you can only create the sound that's up in here. And so what you're going to get, what's in there, out and through that, against that, so you get the exact pitch. So try it again. Bam! And sit on it. Now take enough breath to make it last for eight beats petrol tank, you know, don't run on empty. And hold it, hold the end. See what you got, and we'll stop there. The beginning of the note, and the middle of the note, and the end of the note, should all, at this point, the way we're working this, is sound the same. And you try it. So we've gone on a drone. So let's put the sense against it. You can hear that sound. How many notes is that away from the that one there? One, two. No, in pitch terms. Five, yeah. It's called a perfect fifth. These are the kind of concepts we're gradually going to move into now, so we get the idea in our ears. So the first thing in a major scale is one, and then the second, the third, the fourth, and then the fifth. The third note helps define the tonality. And then the major fifth, perfect fifth rather, above it, fills it all out. So we need to get, that's why I use a drone again, so that I play the note. And at that point I was singing the perfect fifth above it. And so there's all the notes in there as well. <coughs> you see, 
the idea is now is to begin to understand the detail of your sound you've got to give it your your personality and the detail and to know the detail you've got to know that when i go from bam bam it's a perfect fifth but you've got to hear that in your head and in the end you've got to understand first that it's a perfect fifth and eventually you just know it bam bam is a perfect fifth uh, and this is the tricky bit because i know it's a perfect fifth you don't know it's a perfect fifth yet because we just begin to introduce these ideas but you don't know what it sounds like but bam bam so if I play, said, play this, bum, 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 could you play it? Probably not. Yeah, but now I've told you it's a perfect fifth. <laughs> so if you know your scale of F, ba, da, 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 de, that's the fifth note. So play the five notes on the scale of F. Ba, da, first, fourth. Second, first, third. Now I'm going down. Bam, bam, third, first. Good, perfect fifth. So we've got some alike. So the Flintstone starts with a perfect fifth. Now you know that now. Yeah. But I'm not asking you to play that, but I'm begin to, I want you to begin to understand that. And the way to begin to understand that is if you use the drones. It's a complex idea and it's a complex set of thoughts that I'm trying to express here. And I will constantly be coming back to that because I think practicing with drones is absolutely vital if you want to begin to really understand pitch and pitch centers and understanding how to get the actual pitch out of the instrument but also getting the idea and the concept into your head of the detail of your sound as you get more experience you will add more detail to it will become more um become more what you want it to be rather than it's in control at the moment yeah. And we need to reverse that. But that's what practice is about. So all these techniques, long notes, playing all these simple tunes, all these ideas, all come together and we can play them all against this drone because this drone, on any particular note, will give you a reference point every time you come and play. Cool.